everybody, Matt here, and today I've got the latest of the Orphan Barrel releases. This is the Rhetoric 23. Uh, so this is really uh, an experiment to see how the whiskey changes at, over each year, and each additional year that it stays in wood. So this is, as I think most people know by now, uh, this was distilled at the old Heaven Hill plant um, when a version of the old Diageo company used to own it. Um, some of these barrels uh, had stayed in the in the old um, Stitzel Weller warehouses. They were just there in Shively. Uh, anyway, uh, they found the whiskey, right? But um, they've just been releasing a rhetoric. 21, 22, now 23, uh, to some acclaim, uh, some criticism, but I think you really just have to taste the juice. It's actually bottled in, uh, in Tullahoma at the George Dickel plant, which they own that brand as well. So bottom line, I think this 23 really delivers the goods. Um, you have this just massive splintering oak aroma and then a big rush of citrus. Um, I can't quite identify, is it orange, lemon, lime, but it's a, it's a nice citrus aroma. And then I get like, mm, like pioncillo, like the Mexican brown sugar. <sighs> and that like old, like armchair leather, like old club armchair leather. And then, for some reason, um, maybe it's because I'm a PK, uh, I get like a church pew, like old church pews. Um, I've just been sitting there like a hundred years. It's really evocative, very nice aroma. And it's an oak bomb for sure. So if you like sweeter style whiskeys, this is not it, but let's taste it. Mm. Massive citrus and vanilla rush. The fruit, the corn, um, the distillate is shockingly still alive in this whiskey. Uh, I'd have to go back and reference my 22 review, but uh, this 23 is really quite good for a whiskey of this age. Um, 125 bucks. Does it deliver? Yeah, I think it does deliver uh, for that for that amount. Um, with an ice cube, okay, it's 90 proof. Um, so I think I would just drink it neat. But the again, that finish is still going. Actually, that citrus, um, the the leather and the oak kind of kind of goes away on the palate, and you get this really deeply rich, concentrated uh, citrus, vanilla, brown sugar beautiful long finish this is silky uh, this is rich this is what ultra aged bourbon should be all about um, definitely a nightcap whiskey rhetoric 23 um, haters want to hate Diageo but uh, but but taste the whiskey it's really good cheers